As services diversify into such areas as online gaming and remote conferencing systems, the volume of traffic on the optical communication network continues to increase at an annual rate of about 150%. Preparing for the future, NTT Photonics Laboratories has developed a device that can achieve optical transmission in excess of 100 gigabits per second per channel. This is an ultra-high-speed digital-to-analog converter, commonly called a DAC. In the early period, the optical communication systems used Time Division Multiplexing, or TDM. This system replaces the one and zero of the digital signals with the on and off of the optical signals. Wavelength Division Multiplexing, or WDM, increases transmission capacity by performing time division multiplexing on multiple wavelengths. WDM is the basic technology supporting today's optical communication network. In the near future, we will use digital coherent technology, which combines digital signal processing with coherent detection. This technology allows us to realize a multi-level modulation like Quadrature Amplitude Modulation, or QAM, which controls the intensity, phase, and polarization of light to pack several bits of information into a single optical signal. In this case, DAC has to convert multiple digital signals into a single multi-level signal, which will require extremely advanced technology. This is an indium phosphide heterojunction bipolar transistor, or HBT, which NTT Photonics Laboratories has been developing for many years. This DAC IC chip, completed in 2009, integrates about 2,000 transistors. This device successfully achieved 30 gigasamples per second or the generation of 30 billion multi-level signals per second. Also in 2011, we made this transistor even smaller, enabling high-speed operations. We also proposed new circuit techniques that achieve both high-speed operation and low power consumption and developed a prototype IC. As a result, we were able to reach the world's maximum rate, 60 gigasamples per second, or the generation of 60 billion multi-level signals per second. This IC can convert six 60 gigabit per second signals into one signal. We have completed development of a high frequency and broadband packaging technique and used it to house a DAC operating at extremely high frequencies in a module. This allows multi-level modulation systems like QAM to be applied to the optical communication network. By increasing the operation speed and functionality of receivers, optical communication systems will enter an era in excess of 100 gigabits per second in the future.